Alright, so hopefully by now you guys have all seen the unboxing video I did of the package that I got from my friend uh, Punk and Milner 4. So once again, uh, I just want to say Punk Nerd, uh, thank you very much for uh, sending me that package. I appreciate it. Uh, so this is the second uh, update video that I uh, promised. Uh, so this is this is basically going to be like a two-part uh, update video. Uh, obviously the unboxing will be the first part, and now this will be the second part. <laughs> Uh, so as I as I mentioned, I do have some other pickups that I have to show you guys that I got. Uh, I got some. I also got some stuff on uh, uh, this past uh, Friday, which was uh, the nineteenth. So I got. Uh, I went to three different stores on Friday, and I got a lot of good stuff. Uh, I went to two different thrifty shoppers and a Goodwill. Uh, so we're gonna just take a look at everything right now. So I have a bunch of cool VHS tapes, uh, a boatload of CDs, and then uh, one other thing I got that's pretty cool and that's actually also kind of uh, VHS related, but we're going to save that to the end, so let's get started. Excuse me, by the way. All right, so we'll start off with the VHS tapes that I got, which I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, well, 16 tapes uh, technically, but actually 11 titles and there's cause there's a pretty cool box set that i have to show you guys so let's get started so start off with the one and only clamshell that i got which is a better copy of rudolph the Reno's reindeer and the island of misfit toys uh as some of you might know i did get this tape uh back in 2019 however my copy uh wasn't in the best condition it had a little bit of uh mold on it and it was a little damaged uh not terribly but still uh, it was still, it was, it was still kind of, uh, it was still kind of damaged. Uh, this copy, uh, well, the clamshell is not in the best condition, but the, the tape itself, uh, from what I can tell, uh, appears to be, uh, mold-free, so, uh, this copy, I believe, is not damaged at all, so, yeah, that's good. So now I have a better, a better, uh, non-moldy copy of this tape, basically. So yeah, so here's the sticker label, and of course there's no uh, print date. So yeah, I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just put this tape into the case for my uh, other copy. So yeah, and and of course we all know, of course we all know what this tape will have at the end since it's a good times tape. So yeah, glad to have a better copy of this tape finally. All right. Now on to, now on to the slip covers. First one is, this looked interesting. This is Monument to the Dream, the construction of the Gateway Arc, or Arch. Yep, this is from the Jefferson National Expansion Historical Association. So yeah, this is a little documentary tape, obviously all about constructing the, uh, the famous uh, Gateway Arch in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. So yeah, here's the front, sides, the top, which has nothing on it, and the back. There's some, uh, some pretty cool uh, photos right there. And I, I do not know what year this, this does not actually say what year this tape is from, so I have no idea. And it doesn't even say on the tape either what year this is from, but I'm going to assume it's probably a late 80s or early 90s uh, VHS. That'd be, that'd be my assumption. But it, does say on, but it does say on here that the runtime is 28 minutes. Yeah, so here's the tape with the sticker label and the end label. And I realized, I just realized, uh, it does have some, like, numbers and stuff, uh, Kind of stamped there, but I do not see a print date. Not that I can even really read the numbers because they're kind of smeared. But yeah, and it says it says "Made in USA" on the back there. So there you go. Okay, next one up is 
Laura McKenzie's Travel Tips, a video travel guide to Alaska, the Inside Passage Cruise, uh, Floors and Glaciers, uh, the Janu Skagway, uh, Ketchikan, Anchorage, Fairbanks, and more. Uh, historical sites, nightlife, tips on where to go, where to stay, shopping, currency, what to expect, and more. This is from a public pictures home video. This looks pretty cool as well. So yeah, I believe this is part of a series called Laura McKenzie's uh, Travel Tips. Only one I have, but uh, hope to get maybe more of these soon, if there is uh, more of them. I'm assuming this is part of a series, so... Yeah, so here's the front. Sides. Top. And the back. So yeah, uh, program is from 1985, and this is a 1989 VHS. And it comes with this business reply card. Here's the tape with the sticker label, which actually says 1986 on there. That's interesting. And you can see it has the oversized reels. And... There is a number 60 stamp right there, but there is no print date or anything on this. All right. Okay. Next up, I got... Up next, I got a couple uh, music tapes. Next one is Andre Ryu uh, with the Johann Strauss Orchestra from Holland with Love, Waltzes I Saved for You from Phillips. I believe, I want to say this is my second or third Andre Ryu VHS tape. Because I know I have a Christmas one and maybe possibly one other one. I don't remember. But I know I didn't have this one yet. So. And here's the spine. This is from, uh, this is from Phillips and, uh, Polygram Video. So here's the side, other side, top, and the back. List of songs. Um... So it looks like the program is from 1994, and I'm guessing this VHS is probably from 1994 as well. So, yeah. Here's the tape, the sticker label. And... It looks like there is a print... It looks like there might be a print date, but... Um... Yeah, it looks like there is a print date, but it's one of those dark ink ones, so I can't really read it. Um... Let's see... Trying to see if maybe I can. Yeah, it looks like there is a print date, but it's kind of hard to read, so I'm not gonna. Not really gonna bother uh, trying to find it. <laughs> but yeah. And the next one I got is Dion Warwick Live. This is from, this is a Prism Entertainment release, part of the music video collection. A special evening of hits with the First Lady of Song. 
Yeah, this is a prism tape. Sides. The top, which has nothing on it. The bottom, which just has the Prism Entertainment logo and the barcode right there. The UPC. And the back. Dion Melts Your Heart. This is some of the songs included in the program. This is from the... This is from the Music America Live series. So yeah, uh... The program is from 1983, and this is a 1986 VHS. Distributed exclusively by Prism Entertainment. So yeah. And, and yeah, it opens like this. Here's the vertical sticker label and the oversized reels. And it has the tan lid as well, as you can see. And there is, and there's the end label. Which, uh, is that a, It looks like there might actually be a print on this tape underneath the end label. Let me see if I can maybe pull it back a bit. Ah, oh, that's kind of ripping. All right, forget, forget it. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there might be a print day on this, but I'm not sure. I'm probably not. I'm not gonna probably even bother uh, checking. So yeah, and the next one I got is. Gene Autry, America's Cowboy, hosted by Johnny Grant. This is kind of a, sort of a, like a documentary slash, like, interview tape about uh, Gene Autry. So, yep. Actually, actually had no idea this tape uh, existed until I uh, found it uh, on a Friday. This is from... Uh, this is from the Pacific Edge Group, which I have never heard of that company. Yeah, here's the, and yeah, the sides are, the spine is like, the sides are like this. So here's the side, other side, top, and the back. Yeah, there's a, there's a, little note from uh, Johnny Grant there on the back there. Like a little letter thing. Uh, basically giving a description of the video. Uh, this is 60 minutes, so it's one hour long. And this is a Nightside 9 VHS. And it says on the, it says on the back, please visit our website, www.hollywoodbackstage.com. Interesting. Here's the tape with the sort of generic looking uh, sticker label. It says Gene Autry America's Cowboy presented by Brayer. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. But that's cool. Still. And... There is no print date or anything on this. And the reels make... Think look a little different, I think. All right. All right. Up next. Um, okay. Up next, uh, Will and Sam. If you're watching this, uh, I got another uh, 
Video Treasures tape for the collection. This is the 1986 Video Treasures VHS of Shoei Temple Festival. Uh, starring Shoei Temple, obviously. Yeah, I do already have this. I certainly do already have this in the uh, Good Times uh, Family Classics double feature VHS that has uh, this and The Little Princess. But I had to get this uh, Video Treasures uh, print from 1986. So yeah, here's the front, sides, uh, the top, which is a little ripped right there, but that's okay. And here's the back. Yep, 1986 BHS. Features, uh, features War Babies, Kids in Africa, Dora's Dunkin' Donuts, and Pardon My Pups. And also includes uh, newsreel footage of her marriage to John Agger. This is in black and white, and it's 56 minutes. Here's the sticker label, and again, it has the oversized reels. And... Uh, and there's some numbers stamped right there, but there is no print date. And as you can see, the reels have become have become incredibly yellowed, unfortunately. But oh well, that's okay. As long as the tape plays fine, that's what really matters. And yeah, the top is top is not in the best condition on this one, but uh, I didn't really care. All right, and up next I got, up next I got two live home videotapes, and these are, these are both from the Literary Masterpieces collection. First one up is uh, Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities, uh, starring Chris Sarandon and Alice Krieg, or Kriege, however you say her name. The classic tale of honor and sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, this is from Life Home Video, co-produced by ITC. So here's the side, other side, top, and the back. So yep, uh, the... The uh, film itself is from 1991, and this is a 1992 VHS. Although the label, for some reason, actually says 1993 on here, as you can see, which is weird. But yeah, so here's the sticker label, number two, and uh, printed in the... 50th week of 1993 and here's the barcode on there so yeah this one will most likely will most likely have a uh, white screen death at the end of it and then here's the other literary literary masterpieces tape that I got which is the scar uh Baroness Orskis, The Scarlet Pimpernel, starring Anthony Andrews, Jane Seymour, and Ian McKellen. The classic adventure of passion, honor, and intrigue. So, yep. Front. I see this one. Oh, crap. This one is... This one's only released by Live Home Video. This one is not co-produced by ITC. Sides top and the back yeah uh, the film itself is from 1982 and this one's also a 1992 VHS a stumptuously produced wonderfully acted film suspense intrigue humor romance says Los Angeles Times 
So, yeah. Although the label on this one also says 1993. And see, this one has the Life Home Video uh, kind of logo uh, outlining. So this one's obviously a uh, later printing. See, so yeah, here's the sticker label. Uh, number 168. And this one is actually a recycled tape. Two week and year codes. The 42nd week of 1996 and the 7th week of 1999. So yeah, and uh, as you can see, it says RVS right there on the first week in your code. So uh, my guess is this was probably either recycled from an older live home video VHS or maybe from a 20th Century Fox tape or something like that. But yeah. All right, there you go. And then, all right, so the last, uh, the last uh, single VHS tape before I show the box set. Uh, this one's actually a Paramount tape. This is from 1991. This is the 1991 VHS of. It started in Naples, with Clark Gable, Sophia Rowen, and Vitero De Sica. However you say that. So yeah, I've. I actually had been looking for this movie for a while, and now I finally have it. I actually thought I might have already had this movie already, but I double-checked when I got home, and turns out I did not have this movie yet. So, yeah, that was kind of surprising. But, but, yeah, but yeah, I finally have a copy of this movie now, which is, which is good. So, here's the front. Sides. Top back uh, Clark Gable and Sophia Loren in a sunny Mediterranean romp uh, this is a 1960 film and this is a 1991 VHS like I said tape's a little hard to get out of the case and this one is actually a 1992 reprint See right there, it says 1992. So this is a 1992 reprint copy. Sticker label, end label, and printed in the 13th week of 1992. And there's the, there's what the barcode looks like on this one. Yeah, so this one, this one I'm sure will most definitely have a white screen F at the end of it. Probably the clicking tone one, I would have to guess. Alright. And now here's the last beat chest, which like I said, this is a... This is a six-tape uh, box set. And uh, kind, of a, kind of an interesting coincidence that I came across this uh, uh, last... Uh, that I just came across this, and... I will explain why, but this is, uh, this is the box set of War and Peace, starring Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, this is the, this is the BBC, uh, miniseries version from, uh, 1972, and what's kind of an odd, what makes this an odd coincidence is, uh, if some of you might recall, uh, in that other update video I did about, uh, I think it was last week, I believe. Yeah, I think last week, I think I think it was from last week. Might have been two weeks ago. I don't remember, but uh, as you know, I just recently got the uh, 19, the uh, Coulter of the 1968 version of War and Peace. And I mentioned how I have the Audrey Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn version, and I mentioned that there was also this version as well, which I was hoping, which I thought I would maybe get at some point, and Sure enough, like a week later, I come across the the box set for this. So yeah, that it's kind of funny how that worked out. Yeah, so that's so that's now two different versions of War and Peace that I've gotten in the past like two weeks. So yeah, that's just kind of crazy. 
But anyway, but yeah, this is the miniseries version from 1972. So yeah, and so here's the here's the front with the and you can see it's a it's a six volume uh, v, uh, VHS set, which I think the I think the 1968 one was also split up into like five or six parts, I think. But yeah. So here's the front with the like, spine mural. Here's the side. Here's the. Excuse me. Here's the other side. And. Here is the top. And. There's the bottom. You see, this is from. 20, this is actually from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, CBS Fox Video, BBC Video, and Time Life, which is cool. So this is actually, so yeah, this is the program is from 1972, and this is a 1996 VHS. Yeah, here's the bottom, and I'm gonna do this very carefully. Here is the back. It says War and Peace Volumes 1 through 6, book by Leo Tolstoy, dra dramatized by Jack Pullman, starring Anthony Hopkins. Yep, a little description right there. And the the total runtime of this is 751 minutes. Wow. Yeah, that's uh That's even that's even longer than the uh the uh, 1968 version that I just got. So yeah, this so yeah, this has quite a so yeah, this uh, has quite a length to it. Which is obviously why they split it onto six tapes. Alright, so now let's take a look at the individual tapes here. Again, these are all 1996 releases. So here is volume one. Sides top and the back uh, running time of this one is 118 minutes sticker label uh, and these all these all have both day and year codes and weekend year codes. Uh, this one is the one hundred the one hundred ninety third day of, but what's weird is they're all the print dates are all kind of uh, different on all six of these as you're about to see. Anyway, so this one is the one hundred ninety third day of nineteen ninety six, and the first week of nineteen ninety seven. All right, here's volume two. Uh, this one's 117 minutes. Label. Uh, this one is the... This one's the 185th day of 1996. And also printed in the first week of 1997. Volume 3. Back. This one's 116 minutes. Tape. Uh, this one's the 307th day of Night Size 6. But also printed in the first week of Night Size 7. Volume 4. Top. Back. 
uh, 117 minutes for this one. Tape. This one's the 320th day of 1996. And this one's, this one does have a different reading year code. The 52nd week of 1996. <laughs> Volume 5, top, back, uh, 118 minutes for this one, label, the 319th day of night size 6, and this one's, this one's also put in the 52nd week of night size 6, and Volume 6. Wow, this... This one... This one's the longest out of all of them. This one's 165 minutes. So yeah, this... So yeah, all the... See so yeah, the first five are all... We're all, uh... Just under two hours. This one's... Two, like two and a half hours so so yeah so let's see uh so two and a half plus uh four six eight ten yeah this is like like a this is almost like this thing's like almost 13 hours total so yeah that's that's crazy <laughs> I think uh I think the only other miniseries I can think of that's probably as long as this one was uh, uh, Centennial. Which I know that's on VHS as well, and I might get that at some point. But yeah, here's the tape for Volume 6. This one's the 307th day of Night Size 6, and 52nd week of Night Size 6 once again. Yeah, so that's weird. So, so, all, so all six tapes have different day and year codes, and then... Uh, the first three tapes all have the same uh, week and year code, which is the first week of Night Size Seven, and then, uh, and then, and then the and the last three tapes all, are all printed in the fifty second week of Night Size Six. But yeah, every tape, so so there's, so the first three tapes and the last, and the last three tapes all have combined, all have different, all have matching uh, uh, week and year codes, but the day and year code is different on each one. That's bizarre. <laughs> And here's the here's the box again, just without the tapes inside it. So yeah, very cool. Yeah, very very nice uh, box sets here. So very cool. So very glad to have this. And again, kind of a weird coincidence that I found this, seeing how. I was literally just uh, talking about this uh, in like the last uh, update video I did, but uh, yeah, so very nice box set. Okay, yeah, that thing is huge. All right, so that's it for the V chest tapes that I got. So now on, so now we'll take a look at the CDs, which I got, which I got a lot of them. So I'll just show these off uh, quickly, and I got some pretty cool stuff. So first up, I got this, uh, hold on, ah, oh, excuse me. So first up, I got this, uh, this is, uh, the Salvation Army New Life, uh, Choir release. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is actually from the Salvation Army in my local area. You can see right here, it has this, uh, address. And it says uh, Syracuse, New York. So, yeah, this is part of the Salvation Army in Syracuse, New York, which is my local uh, Salvation Army chain. So that's pretty cool. It's actually a CDR release right there, as you can see. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I think it looks like it's all like religious uh, music, but nothing really wrong with that. But yeah, I just had to get this. Uh, I mean, because well, I've. Obviously shopped at Salvation Army many times, and this is a pretty cool, just kind of local release, so 
yeah, I had to get that. Uh, this is this is brand new factory sealed. Uh, Il Volo Buon Natale, the Christmas album. I have no idea. It's a but it's a Christmas album I didn't have yet, and it was factory sealed, and it was only ninety nine cents. So I figured, hey, why why not get that for my uh my Christmas collection? All right, and then we got a boatload of uh, of soundtracks here. So I actually got quite a few uh, soundtracks from my uh, collection, and some pretty cool ones. Uh, so we got 1941, Radio, Legends of the Fall, Fisher King, Mrs. Doubtfire. So you had two... Uh, so yeah, two uh, Robin Williams uh, movie soundtracks. That's pretty cool. Uh, the Jazz Singer. This is obviously the Neil Diamond one. Uh, this is cool. This is Ray the Original Motion Picture score. I have I already I have the the Ray soundtrack plus the more music from Ray, but I did not have the uh, score to it. So that's pretty cool. And then lastly for the soundtracks we have. Newsies. That's pretty cool. Obviously, classic uh, Disney uh, musical right there. And this is part of the Disney original soundtrack uh, collection. So this is like a. So this is one of the uh, later releases, obviously. Uh, then I also got Jewel 0304. I don't know. Just thought it'd be cool to have that in the uh, collection. Uh, Ten Thousand Maniacs MTV Unplugged. Obviously, classic uh, 10,000 Maniacs uh, live album. And this is also the BMG release. And I forgot to mention, uh, uh, the Jazz Singer is also the uh, is also a uh, BMG release. So there you go. Uh, this is also factory sealed. Uh, Tony Bennett Viva Duets. That uh, says right here, Tony Bennett sings his greatest hits with today's greatest Latin artists, including Christina Aguilera, Mark Anthony, uh, Cheyenne, Gloria Estefan, and Vincente Fernandez. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And this is actually the uh, Target exclusive deluxe edition, which comes with uh, four bonus uh, songs. And here's the... And here's the list. And here's the list of uh, songs in the back here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Another thing I didn't really know existed. So you had to get that for my uh, collection. And cool that it's still uh, factory sealed. And then lastly for the CDs, this is really cool too. Elvis Presley love songs. Uh, this is a. This comes with uh, eighteen uh, classic. Uh, Elvis Presley uh, songs, all based around, uh, like, romance, obviously. Uh, excuse me. I probably already have uh, most, if not all, these songs on some of my other Elvis uh, compilations that I have, but I didn't care. I had to get this anyway. This is pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, it comes in this pretty pretty cool uh, packaging that folds uh, open. And then you got the... You got the CD right there. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that's it for the so that's it for the VHS tapes and the music. But now for the one other thing that I got, and uh, like I said, this is this is actually kind of VHS uh, related. I got uh, I I saw this and uh, I had to get this for my uh, collection, uh, especially uh, especially because spoiler alert, this actually was. I'm pretty sure brand new, never actually played. This is another uh, VCR game for my uh, collection. I have I already have a couple of these. Uh, actually, yeah, right, right, right up here. I have you can see Flash Match, uh, the Clue VCR game, and Doorways to Adventure. And then there's that Wheel of Fortune TV Play Along thing. So I already have a couple uh, VCR games for my uh, collection. And now, here's another one. And like I said, I, I had to get this mostly because it was brand new, never played. This is uh, the VCR game Predicaments. Yeah, the Predicaments VCR game, hosted by the hosted by the late Joan Rivers. The outrageous soap opera parody game. 
a fun-filled affair of dreams, schemes, and steam, and you're right in the thick of it. So yeah, this is from Mattel Games, a game for adults, two or more players. Let's see, Veach, like how it says the VHS format. So uh, yeah, and this is from 1986, and here's the list of everything it comes with. It comes with the video cassette, the game board, uh, score pad, one deck of question cards, and eight playing pieces. So, yeah, and I'm not kidding, guys. This is brand new, never played. And I will show you guys what I mean. Let me just take this off here. So I'll show you. So it's got, so it's got the game board in here. I did check. It is complete. And here's what the game board looks like. Um, it's got a uh, couple, couple manuals. Comes with, comes with two different, two separate uh, manuals there. So here's the, here's the notepad that it comes with, which as you can see, um, has never been used. And look at this, guys. So here's the VHS tape. As you can see, the VHS tape is still brand new, never been opened. You can see there's the end label right there. So yeah, the VHS tape is brand new, and the cards are still factory sealed as well. So yeah, it comes with two different two different stacks to make one deck. So yeah, and, and then here's the here are the uh, playing pieces that it comes with. So yeah, it comes with comes with these little things right here. It comes with as you see two blues, uh, two reds two greens, and two yellows. So yeah, so yeah, everything uh, is included, and like I said, uh, the cards in the VHS tape have never been opened. So, so yeah, this is essentially brand new and never played, so... So yeah, so it looks like uh, somebody uh, bought this and... Uh, started to open it up, and then, uh, for whatever reason, just never, uh, played it, so, so, yeah, this is brand new, never, never been used, that's really cool, uh, so, yeah, the, the, front of the box is kind of, uh, a little dirty, I gotta wipe that down with something, but, uh, besides that, this is essentially in, like, brand new condition, so, yeah, when I saw, see, so yeah, when I saw it was, brand new like that, I had to get this, especially for only three dollars. So yeah. So yeah, I don't know if I'll ever actually uh, play this, but it's just a really cool, fun, uh, collectible piece, and like I said, I had to get it from my collection. And again, the fact that it was brand new, uh, essentially brand new, uh, pretty much sold me on this. Alright, so... So that is pretty cool. Just tape back in there. So yeah, very cool to add yet another uh, VCR game to my uh, collection. And again, the fact that it was essentially unplayed as well pretty much sold me on that. So yeah. All right, so that is everything else that I got uh, this weekend, uh, besides the stuff that I unboxed. So, yeah, so a lot of stuff. And uh, again, there's the there's the box there's the uh, box from my uh, there's the box that I got from Punk and Metal Nerd, which I just put down there for right now. Um, yeah, so so yeah, a lot of good stuff that I got and. Uh, like I said, I still have to go through everything in that uh, box that I got that I got uh, 
from Punk and Milner to decide uh, what I'm going to keep. Uh, I know I know I'm going to keep uh, most of it. Uh, I just got to figure out what I got to do with the rest of the stuff. So hopefully you saw that video first. So yeah, a lot of a lot of good stuff for this uh, update video and for that unboxing video. So yeah, so uh, I don't really know what else to say except uh, very cool. All right, so that is it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, hope you guys saw both parts of this. Uh, I guess this two-part uh, update video. And uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And once again, I'd like to say thank you. Uh, to my friend punk and metal nerd for this uh this very awesome uh box here full of a lot of really cool stuff that i'm definitely going to add to my collection and some other things that i might do other things uh with and yeah and a lot of good pickups pickups as well uh on friday all right so that is it and as always i will see y'all next time as always have a good one guys peace